Hi, it's Cassie with Cassie's Parlor, and we're going to make a votive holder and card set. I'm so excited. We're going to start with some metallic shrink film from Graphics in gold, and you'll see here the die and how it shrinks, so you can you can see the difference in the size. Um, we're going to set those aside and use them a bit later. Next, we are going to use adhesive-backed film from Graphics as well. It is clear, and uh, we are going to put some alcohol ink on top of it from different brands and we've got some blending solution that we're starting with here and then we're just going to use the dropper and add a few different colors of alcohol ink. I've chosen warm colors here with sort of a fall or autumn feel to them and then I've got some really pretty um, gold uh, alcohol ink there and then I'm just using my blower to kind of mix the colors together and blow them around a little bit and give us an interesting look and then once it's dry I'm spritzing a little bit of 91% isopropyl alcohol on it just to give it a little bit more distressy look and get give it some cool drips. So once that is all dry, I'm using my model print plate from Graphics, and I'm showing you here you have to peel off that blue uh, protective layer before you use it. But once you do, it's nice and clear and ready to go. I've got some block printing ink. I have my brayer, and then I've made my own stamp here. I wanted a particular type of leaf to stamp on top of this, and I didn't have it, so I just made my own. So I've got the black ink there, and I'm just going to roll it out with the brayer, and then I will cover my stamp, my homemade stamp, uh, a bunch of times and I'm going to stamp this all over my clear adhesive backed film. Um, it you'll see you'll notice that it isn't perfect every time and that is by design. I wanted it to be kind of a little bit grungy, a little distressed, sort of sometimes having that element of like the uh, the skeleton leaf look kind of uh, and so I really love the way this turned out I, I flipped them all different ways and you can see there on top of the alcohol ink it looks really nice and contrasty it also um, dries matte so against that glossy background it looks really cool so I have this old jelly jar and uh, I want to make it into a votive holder for this could be a Thanksgiving um, centerpiece or you know um, yeah centerpiece or for uh, as a gift for someone you could put it on your mantle there's lots of things you can do so I'm just peeling off the backing from these um, adhesive back strips and sticking them onto my votive holder and going all around the whole thing. You'll notice that some of them are thinner, some of them are thicker. Um, they're all three inches tall so that they fit the full length of the votive holder. And I'm giving them some space in between. And again, it's not uniform or perfect. I just kind of wanted it to be almost like a mosaic kind of look, but with strips. Okay, so now that that is done, I'm using some double tack mounting film and I'm going to decorate the lid of this votive holder. Um, so I really like to use double tack film um, on uh, ribbon because it's you can cut a nice thin strip, it's easy to use, and it works really well and holds forever. It's uh, it's very durable and very strong, so it's very nice and easy to use. So now, then I have some ephemera I'm just adding to the lid just to give it a little bit more festive feel, and uh, it's got a really cute pumpkin there. So I'm back to the metallic um, gold. Uh, shrink film pieces that I made those those leaves I showed you in the beginning so I'm just wrapping some brown craft wire around them so that I can make charms out of them and just hang them from the project so I've got a few there I'm showing close up I'm gonna add three together in a bunch and um, going to stick them underneath that ribbon on the side of the lid and then I'm just gonna wrap that wire around uh, behind that lid. It's going to help it fit snug on the um, jar. And then I'm using um, a paintbrush uh, handle just to give give that wire a little bend so it's got so it hangs nicely from the side. So I had some 
some of that adhesive back film left over and I didn't want it to go to waste so I've got some gold uh, shimmer spray here that I've spritzed on a card base and we're just going to make a quick card that we can then give as a uh, you know as a matching card for the gift and I thought that would be really nice I had this really amazing gold foil skeleton leaf paper it's so awesome and I thought that would look really cool kind of poking through um, that clear adhesive film that we've created here. And then I'm using my double tech mounting film again to put behind this um, this layered piece really helps to for it to lay nice and flat on the card and have full adhesive coverage. So there is that and then I'm just going to add a little bit of embroidery thread in like a burgundy um, maroon kind of color and just make a knot and then I'm adding some more of those charms again using these elements on the votive holder and and on the card help to tie them together and really gives you a nice um, uh, gift set that you can give someone. I have this thankful in foam foam uh, adhesive backed uh, from a different project and I decided that would look really nice on the top of this card. So there we are using all of our pieces which makes me so happy. So then there was a one tiny little charm left uh, of a leaf and so I decided to uh, put that right on top and that really helped to finish everything off. So here we are, finished projects. You've got a votive holder as a gift that I really think anyone would love to receive. It's got a nice mosaic feel to it, very artsy. I love the way the alcohol ink looks, especially with that homemade uh, stamp and there you've got a card to match. So here you can see with a candle lit, you can see right through that adhesive backed film and through those awesome vibrant colors of alcohol ink. Uh, this was so much fun and I intend to make look quite a bit more and give them as gifts to family over the holidays. I think that will be really nice. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing to my channel and check out other videos and let me know what you think. Thanks so much. Have a good night.